So in this video today, I'm going to be ranking and reviewing all of the villains we have seen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm going to be ranking them on a tier list. If you don't know how a tier list ranking works, let's, I'll show you right now. So how it works is basically I got my tier list right here. We have all the villains that we have ever seen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe right here. And I'm going to be ranking them in each tier based on how good they are. You may disagree with this list, but if you disagree, then you're wrong. This is the only correct list. So I'll go through all the tiers and I'll give you a rundown of what they are and what they mean. S tier, obviously godlike some of the best villain we've ever seen a really really good but not as good as s same thing with b b is like really like better than average but not as good as a c is average ass is well ass and then below ass we just have who even is this and i'm like a huge marvel fan so if i don't even know who the villain is then that's bad that's like really bad that means they were shit we'll start off with who even like bro who even is that i'm not even no. Next we have Mysterio. Now a lot of people hate on Mysterio. I really liked Spider-Man Far From Home. I thought that it was a great movie. A lot of people dislike it. They say that it's not a true Spider-Man movie. But I really thought Mysterio was a good villain. I, th I think he's definitely up there uh, for, for villains in the MCU. But he's not like top 10. So I'm going to put him at like I think a solid B tier. Next we have Corvus Glaive. So this is the child of Thanos. All of Thanos' children, I mean, they were they were okay. And they were pretty cool, but they weren't like peak like villains. I'll just put them in C. Oh, bro. Killmonger. Killmonger is one of the best. He's like top three. Top three MCU villains we've ever seen. This man, a goaded villain. Next, we have the Shocker from Homecoming. This guy was forgettable ass. First ass ranking next we have the collector i wouldn't even really consider him a villain honestly i'm gonna put him in i know who he is but like i'm gonna put him in who even is this because i don't think he's a villain next we have ultron now a lot of people don't like ultron for some reason a lot of people don't like avengers age of ultron i really liked it but i honestly think that avengers age of ultron is better than avengers one i'm just saying in my opinion everything about ultron is awesome i really hope he's still alive um ultron's going in a next we have this dude from captain america and the winter soldier i'm not gonna lie i don't even remember what he did so i'm putting him in ass i don't even know who this ugly motherfucker is we've we've been no next we have is that godzilla I'm putting in who even is this next we have the uh the gold chick from guardians of the galaxy i think star lord flirted with her or some shit they definitely were piping on the side anyways um but i'm definitely gonna put her in c next we have zemo zemo in civil war is literally like top five because he was able to beat the avengers without even laying a hand on them you know how impressive that is you know how cold that is but falcon and the winter soldier they didn't do him justice you know they didn't do zemo justice he's he's still he's still great though so i'm putting him in a i'm putting him in a next we have taskmaster Ugh. Grant had so much potential, they just completely botched his character, or her character, or whatever you want to say. I just don't like what they did with the character, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, so I'm putting him in ass. Next, we have Winter Soldier Bucky Barnes. Now, this is a great villain, bro. I'm putting Bucky in it's either S or A. I'm dropping him in A. Next, we have Kaecilius. Definitely not, like, bad, but, like, I'm putting him in B. I don't know who this dragon is, dude. This isn't Game of Thrones. I don't know why it's here. Next, we have Ebony Maw. Okay, I think Ebony Maw is definitely the best out of, like, Thanos' children. I'm gonna put him in B. Next, we have Ego. But I think that Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is better than Guardians of the Galaxy 1. Uh, I think Ego, top tier villain for sure. Definitely, definitely deserves the A spot. Definitely. Both the Guardians of the Galaxy movies are peak. Next, we have Loki. Like, he was a villain towards the start, but obviously he's not like a villain now. He's like an anti-hero. But definitely one of the most memorable MCU villains for sure. But uh, I'm definitely going to put him in A. He deserves the A spot. John Walker from the Falcon and Winter Soldier. I don't see a lot of people talk about John Walker. And I honestly, I think he was the best part of that whole show. Like, watching John Walker just go to town on this one dude for killing his friend with a shield. That was crazy. I'm putting him in B. Bro, Carly Morgenthau. I'm sorry, but Carly Morgenthau is one of the worst fucking villains we've ever gotten in the MCU. No. No. Ass. Next, we have Hela. Hela is a top tier villain, 100%. You can't even disagree. I'm putting, I'm, I'm not putting Hela in S, but I'm putting Hela in A for sure. Next, we have Agatha. Agatha, I don't think she's a C tier. I think she's barely, she's barely in B tier. Like, because she's memorable. Nothing higher than bottom of C tier. Bro, why is he even on here? Bro, 
Next we have Wenwu. Wenwu is one of the best MCU villains, and I honestly might put him in S tier. I'm putting Wenwu in S. I'm sorry. Wenwu is sick. You can't even deny that. Next we have Vulture. The thing about Vulture, a lot of people underrate him as a villain. Just trying to provide for your family. And this man, I respect the grind. I respect the hustle. I think Vulture, top of B. Top of B 100%. Almost A tier. Not quite there, but top of B for sure. Next we have this ugly ass motherfucker from the Guardians movies. Isn't that, isn't his name Taserface? What was your second choice? Scrotum hat? <laughs> With all the Infinity Stones, bro. This is the most... Infinity Ultron is the most powerful villain we've seen in the entire MCU so far. This dude was literally breaking universes with a thought. This man is a menace. I'm putting him in B. Next we have Icarus from Eternals. Honestly, Eternals gets way too much hate. I liked Eternals. I thought it was good. It was a bit long. Definitely not the worst Marvel movie though. It's not, I wouldn't say he's B tier, but he's definitely C. Next we have the Deviant from Eternals. They literally hyped up the Deviant, the entire movie, and then literally he got killed in like two seconds by, um, I'm just putting him in ass. Next we have Lizard. So where these are some of the No Way Home villains. Uh, so obviously there's some Andrew Garfield and Tony McGuire villains. So I'm gonna be rating them based off of that. So the Lizard, I mean, he's not forgettable. He's memorable for sure. He was, he was cool because he was just trying to regenerate his arm. I think he's B tier. No. You already know. You already know where I'm putting this this goat. S tier, baby. Green Goblin. Obvious. It's literally obvious. Next, we have Doc Ock. You already know where I'm putting him. S tier. Again. Toby has some of the best villains in Marvel, for sure. One million percent. Next, we have Electro. In The Amazing Spider-Man 2, he was not that good, I'm not even gonna lie, but he was kind of redeemed in No Way Home. So, I'm just gonna put him... I'll put him... And then I'm assuming that's Sandman. Sandman honestly is an underrated villain that nobody really talks about because a lot of people hate on Spider-Man 3. But I think he's I think he's a good villain, so uh, I'm just gonna put him in B. So next we have Thanos, big daddy purple boy with that bald head. This one's obvious. He's the best villain we've seen in the MCU so far. I'm putting him at the very tippy top, just a straight menace. The only one to actually kill the Avengers. He did get clapped in Endgame, but still, nonetheless, Avengers Infinity War, one of the best, if not the best MCU movie of all time, and uh, just S tier for sure. So guys, this is my list of all the MCU villains that we've seen so far. Um, if you disagree, you're wrong. Uh, this is the only correct list. I'm just kidding. Obviously, you can have your own list, but um, let me know what things you agree on. If I got anything wrong, anything you disagree with, let me know down in the comments. Roast me. I can handle it. Uh, yeah. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more Marvel videos like this. And uh, peace.